Hello and welcome to the Direct Hit. Well, we are reporting to you from the New Orleans, Cape Town. It's a work, virtual background, but we are going to talk about the game that is going to take place in the beautiful New Orleans, Cape Town. The first match of the newly inaugurated S820 League, MI Cape Town versus Paul Royals. We are going to preview it and we are going to give you some uh, uh, new rules that uh, the, the league is constituted of. And uh, this is expected to be a very exciting league, uh, good for South African cricket, good for South African domestic players, along with some very, very uh, fiery international stars that are going to be on show. It's MI versus the Royals. So let's get started. Um, uh, preview of the league. First of all, this is the game one. As we know, MI Cape Town taking on the Power Royals. You can see both the captains, Miller and Rashid Khan, with the trophy and the beautiful hills of uh, Cape Town in the background. Uh, first of all, uh, just a, f a quick points table rules. Uh, this is a very interesting rule. Uh, they're keeping the bonus point this time. Is that uh, each team will get four points for the win and uh, no points for the loss. We all know. But if their net run rate is 1.25 more than the opposition, then they get the bonus point. What does that mean? For example, you can see on your screen, if MI score, let's say, 120 in 20 overs and Paul chase it down in less than 16.1 overs or they get, then they get the bonus point. Yes. If they chase it in 16.1 uh, overs or less than that, then they get the bonus point. That means if they do it, they'll get five points. And if they do in more than 16.1, they don't get the bonus point. They get four points. So that's the bonus point on the chasing front. And I think it is 70 or 80 runs by the margin of defending uh something around that and uh, you get the bonus point on that so this is the points table rule here as far as the uh, league is concerned and then there's a new rule in the toss as well uh generally what happens two ca two captains come out with the sheets they have 11 players in the sheet they exchange it but this time no it's not going to be 11 it's going to be 13 players named at the toss and for example David Miller wins the toss and elects to bowl first. Then he can pick out his 11 out of the 13, knowing that the Royals are bowling first. Similarly, for Rashid Khan, if he's batting first, then he can he and the management can pick 11 players out of the 13. So that's a very, very interesting rule uh, that is going to be there in this tournament. And uh, uh, new, new rules are being brought in to get the crowd excited, get the broadcasters, you know, the fans watching on TV excited and uh, you know both the franchises very uh, accomplished in the IPL and now they'll start off on a new note and both would want to you know get off to a winning start per se and uh, let's look at the playing 11 of MI Cape Town what is going to look like so according to me these are the 11 they can name uh, depending on what I have seen following their page I don't see Liam Livingston Anywhere he has not reached Cape Town, according to my my uh, you know knowledge, and uh, he might not take part. Same for Kagiso Rabada. If he gets there, uh, you know, in in the next like seven eight hours, I don't know. But he was playing the Sydney Test match, so I don't think that Kagiso Rabada would either make it to the eleven. So for me, it's going to be Ryan Rickleton, the lefty wicketkeeper batsman, and Rusty Van Dusen opening the innings. And then Bevel Brevis at three, um, Wesley Marshall at number four, uh, Delano Portage, uh, he's, a, he's a left arm bowler, he's a, a medium bowler and a batsman, or Odian Smith, you can play whoever you want. Sam Curran, obviously the star of the T20 World Cup, no introductions needed. George Linda with the left arm spin, Rashid Khan, and um, then I've got my three fast bowlers, John Janssen, the brother of Marco Janssen, tall left armor as well, he's the deck hard. And uh, Jofra Archer, everybody will have their eyes on him. Jofra, how is he going to recover after that injury? We are, we are going to have our eyes on that. And uh, then uh, Buren Hendricks, another left armer. So I've got a few left armers in there uh, to give the variation along with Jofra Archer. And uh, Odin Smith can give the right arm pace. So Newlands, still without the few of their ace players, this MI lineup looks very settled. And we'll have to see how uh, they go about it come in a few hours time, eight to nine hours time. Uh, let's look at their counterparts. Paul Royals looking a very, very, very set lineup at the moment. 
uh, unfortunately obert mccoy is not going to be available but jason roy josh butler a uh, massive massive opening combination i uh, yes jason roy is out of form but this can be the redemption of jason roy this tournament tain villas got a healthy 50 in the practice match that they played or and morgan uh, no introductions needed two world cup winning captains in this team number 4 for me evan jones uh, number 6 or number 5 a uh, very very you know talented player uh, prasanna the analyst of csk uh, before this auction of the sat you know just uh, announced that he is a very long ball hitter can bowl and an uh, excellent fieldsman and then miller captain again no introduction the dilip acquire the south african international gives you the pace option and uh, lungi angidi the brace samji brown 14 uh, three regular south african internationals that you have in the bowling lineups the bowling looks very very settled and uh, ramon simmons uh, heard a lot about him and uh, he's a he's a quick quick fiery pacer as well so yes uh, that's that's their uh, predicted playing 11 uh, and it's um, you know uh, and it's going to be a cracker of a game hopefully uh, from the point of uh, both the sides and uh, a question for you guys uh, let me know in the comments who is going to win and uh, the first ever match of sa 20 league is it going to be mi cape town is it going to be pal royals you know ah well i i can make my prediction i'm going with pal royals on this one because they have a settled lineup and with the the few of the star shot i think the home side mi cape town might just you know uh, fall short at the moment and yeah uh, this is my prediction i uh, would like to know yours in the comments and thank you for watching everybody really really appreciate your time and please like share and subscribe to the channel uh, we did a preview we'll be back with the short review of the first game between mi cape town pal royals and then we'll look forward to the upcoming games in the SA20 league. So with that, uh, I'll take a leave. Uh, good evening, good morning, wherever you are, and take care. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.